And let's begin this broadcast by getting you the latest updates on the investigation into the Delhi riots. The Home Ministry has ordered strict action against those who are involved in rioting and the violence in Delhi's Jahangir Puri on April 16th. Five people have been slapped with the stringent National Security Act in connection with the communal clashes. The accused who have been booked under the NSA include the alleged mastermind Ansar Sheikh, Salim Chikna, uh, Imam Sheikh, a.k.a. Sonu, who is the alleged shooter, Dilshad and Ahid. Now, 27 arrests have been made so far for instigating the violence, including two minors who have been detained on charges of rioting and unlawful assembly. Meanwhile, Special Police Commissioner Dipendra Patak has uh, visited the violence at area in Jahangir Puri to take stock of the situation. This was on Tuesday. He said that the investigation is in its initial phase and uh, they're ensuring that it's happening in an impartial manner. On April 16th, during the procession of a Shoba Yatra in Delhi's Jahangir Puri, that's when clashes broke out between two communities. Few people were also injured, including three policemen, and one policeman even sustained bullet injuries. This has been the first major communal flare-up in the national capital since the 2020 North Delhi anti-CEA riots. Namaskar, I am Tiwari, Delhi दिल्ली के जहांगीर पुरी इलाके में जो दंगा हुआ हनुमान जन्मोत्सव पर जो अटैक हुआ गोलियां चली उसका मास्टरमाइंड अंसार आम आदमी पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता पाया गया है सारे फोटो आ गए हैं प्रमाण आ गए हैं सब कुछ और थोड़े दिन पहले दिल्ली में जो दंगे हुए उसका मास्टरमाइंड आम आदमी पार्टी का पार्षद ताहिर हुसैन पाया गया था क्या आम आदमी पार्टी कोई दंगा फैक्ट्री चला रही है ये वो आदमी है जिसका नाम अंसार है और ये वो टोपी पहन के अंसार यहाँ पे दिख रहे हैं और देखिए टोपी कितनी जम रही है इनके ऊपर भारतीय जनता पार्टी की टोपी लगा के जहांगीरपुरी के दंगों के तथा कथित मास्टर माइंड अंसार सिचुएशन इज पीसफुल नेट्रिक थोड़ा डाउन कर दो यार वी हैव एडिक्वेट फोर्स डिप्लॉयमेंट ओवर हियर माइक वी आर इन कंटिन्यूअस टच विद द सिटीजन्स ओवर हियर एंड आल्सो विद द पीस कमिटी एंड अमन कमिटी पीपल एंड वी आर मेंटेनिंग पीस एंड ट्रैंक्विलिटी सो वी आर ऑन टॉप ऑफ द सिचुएशन एंड वी वांट दिस पीस टू कंटिन्यू एंड वी आर कीपिंग अ वेरी क्लोज वॉच ऑन एनीवन एनी काइंड ऑफ आइदर मिसक्रिएंट्स और एनी काइंड ऑफ ऑल एक्टिविटी now, three stunning videos have emerged, evidence of the violence that shook the national capital on Hanuman Jayati. India Today has accessed exclusively these three new videos emerging in the case that essentially reveal the horror of exactly what played out in Jahangir Puri. Writers can be seen with sticks and weapons in their hands, another indicator that this was pre-planned. Three stunning new videos of Delhi riots. Images that shed new light on what exactly happened on Saturday in Jahangirpuri. India Today has accessed the new footage. The first video shows a large mob gathered on the streets. The rioters can be seen carrying sticks and weapons as the police try to stop them. The footage reveals the police are heavily outnumbered. In the second video, the armed mob can be seen getting ready for a confrontation. In the third video, all hell broke loose. Police fire tear gas to control stone pelting. Bottles are being hurled at the procession. Gunshots can also be heard. <laughs> Meanwhile, another eyewitness has emerged. A video from the day of the riots show Yogi Omnath sitting on a trolley. A participant in the Hanuman Jayanti Shobhayatra the Baba gives his version 
of what happened. जब हम करीबन साढ़े पांच बजे करीब मस्जिद के सामने में पहुंचा, तो पीछे से बगदर मची, पीछे से बगदर मची तो पूछा भाई क्या हुआ कि ऊपर से पत्थर फेंका जा रहे हैं, कांच की बोतलें फेंकी जा रही हैं, वो सब मेरे बगत से सब भाग गए, भाई भागना जरूरी था जान की सुरक्षा थी, एक पत्थर आया वो पत्थर आ गया नुमान जी की पूंछ को लगा वो मुझे फिर आग लगा फिर मुझे पैर पे भी लगे दो मेरे भगत थे जो ट्राली को खेच रहे थे तो उनको भी लगे मगर लास्ट तक फिर आगे जाकर तो और उधर इतना भारी हो गया क्या ये एक सोची समझी साजिश नहीं तो और क्या है Sources say the Home Ministry has directed the police to take strict action against the guilty. The police have slapped the National Security Act against five accused in the case. Ansar, Salim Chikna, Sonu, Dilshad and Ahid. With more videos surfacing, the police are hoping to zero in on more rioters. Bureau Report, India Today. Now, the prime accused in the Jahangir Puri violence case, Ansar, who's seen as the key conspirator in the Delhi riots, is believed to be key in cracking this case. Apart from his role in the riots, Ansar's history, and you see some of those pictures on your screens there, also throws light to his political links. Here's what we know so far with regards to the main riot accused, Ansar. Ansar, the face behind the Delhi riots, now in police custody. He could be a key to cracking the case. Sources say Ansar had received a phone call from the local masjid just before the clashes broke out. On receiving the call, Ansar approached the Hanuman Jayanti procession with four to five people. The argument that ensued ended in violence that left many injured. The police is investigating Ansar's phone records. The main suspect in the riots case also dabbled in politics. The BJP and Aam Aadmi Party are accusing each other of links to Ansar. Namaskar, I am Manoj Tiwari, Delhi ka ek Sansa. Delhi ke Jahangir Puri ilake me jo danga hua, Hanuman Janmoz Sopo jo attack hua, goliya chali. उसका मास्टरमाइंड अंसार आम आदमी पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता पाया गया है सारे फोटो आ गए हैं प्रमाण आ गए हैं सब कुछ और थोड़े दिन पहले दिल्ली में जो दंगे हुए उसका मास्टरमाइंड आम आदमी पार्टी का पार्षद ताहिर हुसैन पाया गया था क्या आम आदमी पार्टी कोई दंगा फैक्ट्री चला रही है ये वो आदमी है जिसका नाम अंसार है और ये वो टोपी पहन के अंसार यहाँ पे दिख रहे हैं और देखिए टोपी कितनी जम रही है इनके ऊपर भारतीय जनता पार्टी की टोपी लगा के जहांगीरपुरी के दंगों के तथा कथित मास्टर माइंड अंसार पोलिटिकली कनेक्टेड अंसार इज अ स्क्रैप डीलर विद इंटरेस्ट इन गैम्बलिंग बिजनेस ही हैज न्यूमरस केसेस अगेंस्ट हिम फॉर अलेजेडली रनिंग गैम्बलिंग रैकेट्स Images of his not so humble life have emerged which show Ansar flaunting money and gold. As police dig deeper into Ansar's business links, more skeletons could come out. Bureau report India today. Now it was on the 16th of April that law and order took a complete hit. Clashes broke out between two communities in Jahangirpuri. But that's not stopping politicians from continuing their bickering. Instead of making attempts to restore normalcy to appeal for peace from all communities, the Amandi Party, the BJP, have resorted to a massive blame game on who's to blame for these riots. Here's our next report about the reactions that have come in so far. Saturday's violence has left a communal scar in northeast Delhi. Even as tension remains and Jahangir Puri urgently needs soothing, political parties are back to blame mongering. The Bhartiya Janata Party claimed links between one of the accused and the Amakni Party. Most of the people who are accused of rights, 
this right and previous Delhi rights. They had or have direct and indirect relationship with Aam Aadmi Party. Therefore, Aam Aadmi Party is liable to respond to the nation. What action they, they are taking on their activists? 100% percent PFI ban honi chahiye. Jab tak PFI jaise sasta ban nahi hongi, to ye jo log funding hokar, jo chote chote char din ke baad paise wale hote, kabadiyo ki dukan par baithte hain, aur wo do teen saal mein crore pati, arab pati ban jate, buildinge ban jati hain, to wo PFI ke hi funding ke karan hota hai, jo funding inko bahar se hoti. AAP hit back, accusing Delhi BJP chief Adesh Gupta of fueling the violence by backing the rioters. दिल्ली के अंदर लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की सिचुएशन ठीक नहीं है जो बीजेपी है ये पुलिस उसके अंडर में आती है बीजेपी को पुलिस को ठीक से कंट्रोल करना चाहिए लॉ एंड ऑर्डर को ठीक से लागू करना चाहिए उनको दंगों को रोकना चाहिए दंगे करवाने वाले खुद हैं और दंगों के बारे में बिल्कुल सख्ती से पेश आना चाहिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी गुंडों की पार्टी है भारतीय जनता पार्टी दंगे कराती है भारतीय जनता पार्टी हिंसा कराती है वरना ऐसा कैसे हो गया कि आम आदमी पार्टी शोभा यात्रा कराती है तो वहाँ पे कोई दंगा नहीं होता लेकिन जहाँ पे भाजपा खुद किसी कार्यक्रम का आयोजन कराती है वहाँ पे गुंडागर्दी भी हो जाती है वहाँ पे हिंसा भी हो जाती है वहाँ पे दंगे भी हो जाते हैं The man that the Bharatiya Janata Party linked to the AAP has a string of cases against him. While politics rages over the riots, India today has unearthed the CCTV footage, which appear to indicate that the violence was pre-planned. In the CCTV footage, a group of men are seen gathering a day before the riots. It shows local residents trying to stop people from arming themselves with sticks, even engaging in a small scuffle with them. Finally, a blame game has started between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party, where the BJP said that Ansar, one of the prime accused of the Jangirpuri violence, who's now been arrested by the Delhi police, is actually an AAP man. But Atishi Barlena has said that he is also a BJP man. So. Where does he belong to? What are his political affiliations? But both parties sparring with each other for the blame game that has now started over the Jahangir Puri violence. With Pavan Kumar in New Delhi, Milan Sharma for India. It's the interview that's making international headlines. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov spoke exclusively to India today. Brit fire the West. the NATO and also Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky from accusing the United States of hypocrisy to accusing Ukraine of using civilians as human shields. Lavrov dropped one bombshell after another in this world exclusive from Moscow. Here are all the highlights of what Lavrov told my colleague Gita Mohan. Nearly 60 days of invasion and the Russian war machine is rampaging on. Now the man fronting this war, Putin's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov is breathing fire. Speaking exclusively to India today and mincing no words. Lavrov blamed the West and NATO for pushing Russia to invade Ukraine. Russia is warning all its colleagues that just on our borders, you have been creating a springboard against us. You have been pumping arms into Ukraine. Mm -hmm. You have been totally ignoring the legislation of Ukraine, which prohibited, completely prohibited the Russian language. Mm -hmm. You have been ignoring legislation which have been uh, encouraging uh, new nazist ideology and practices. So, of course, the, the very latest development in, because it was all linked uh, uh, with Ukraine becoming NATO springboard and NATO expansion. And they were saying that Ukraine uh, will be in NATO. Nobody can stop Ukraine if it's so vicious. And then President Zelensky said that he might think about coming back to possess nuclear weapons. And in November last year, my president uh, suggested to the United States and to NATO to sit down, uh, to cool off. Despite warnings and threat about an impending nuclear strike on Ukraine, the Russian foreign minister told India today that it was in fact Zelensky who first raised 
the new bogey. Tactical nu uh, nuclear weapons, will Russia ever use them, deploy them? Zelensky, we never mentioned about this. He mentioned this, so his uh, intelligence must have provided him with some news. I cannot comment something which uh, a not very adequate person pronounced. The Russian foreign minister has denied claims of genocide, calling the butcher massacre a staged fake news by Ukraine. We have been targeting only military infrastructure. Unfortunately, the Ukrainian uh, army and so-called nationalist battalions, which are using uh, NACE insignia, swastika, uh, which was borrowed from Indian history but uh, twisted the wrong way, uh, and the insignias of uh, Waffen-SS battalions, uh, these people were using and continue to use uh, civilians as a human shield a couple of weeks ago in the place called Bucha, where the uh, Russian troops left uh, on the 30th of March, I think, and for three days the city was back in the hands of Ukrainian administration. The mayor of Bucha was publicly saying that we are back, the city is back to the normal life, and only on the fourth day they started showing images of dozens of corpses lying in the street, uh, which was only a few days before shown as being back to normalcy. With Russia reeling under sanctions, the country's foreign minister accused the West of hypocrisy. This outcry started only when the Russians decided to protect Russians who are citizens of Ukraine and who were absolutely discriminated. The American military never had any scruples about achieving their military goals, be it in Syria, be it in Iraq, be it uh, in Afghanistan for that matter. And um, this is a tragedy when people die. But we cannot, we cannot tolerate the situation when our Western colleagues say that we can do anything we want. With the war nearing the two-month mark, Russia has made its intent clear. Sergei Lavrov says the special operation is at a very critical moment. These republics, uh, the, the militias of these republics are fighting to get their territory back. Because when they held referendum in 2014, it was held on the entire territories of the former regions. Hmm. But then the uh, coup leaders uh, started the war, uh, which they called anti-terrorist operation, hmm. uh, and they took considerable chunk of, the, of both regions. So yes, we recognize them in their declared territories uh, as a result of, a, of, ref of referendum. The message from Russia is clear. It's not over yet. With Geeta Mohan in Moscow, Bureau Report, India Today.